Today our story is Grumpy Duck by Joyce Dunbar. Our illus illustrator is Peter Horacek. Have you guys ever felt grumpy? I'm curious what makes you guys feel grumpy. Sometimes I feel grumpy if I haven't gotten enough sleep. Look at Duck. You can tell just by the expression on his face. He's the, not feeling very happy today. Duck was feeling grumpy. The pond was dry, so she couldn't paddle in it. She had no one to play with. A little gray cloud appeared over her head. She waddled over to Dog, who was digging a hole. I've got no one to play with, she said to Dog. You can play with me, said Dog, if you like digging holes. I don't, grumped Duck. Digging holes would make my feathers dirty. Ah, uh -huh, Dog sighed. The little gray cloud got bigger. Pig was rolling around in the mud. I've got no one to play with, Duck said to Pig. Come play with me, said Pig, in my gloopy puddle. No thanks, grumped Duck. Ducks like water, not gloop. Honked Pig. The gray, little gray cloud got even bigger. Rooster was cock-a-doodle-doodling. I've got no one to play with, said Duck. You can play with me if you like, said Rooster. We could sing a cock-a-doodle chorus. I just don't do cock-a-doodling, grumped Duck. Quack, said Rooster. The little gray cloud got bigger still. Rabbit was hopping around. I've got no one to play with, said Duck. Come and hop with me, said Rabbit. We can see who can hop the highest. You can, silly, grumped Duck. I'm not silly, said Rabbit. The little gray cloud wasn't little anymore. It was big. Tortoise was dozing in his shell. I've got no one to play with, said Duck, tapping on his shell with her beak. You can doze with me, said Tortoise. It's very peaceful. Boring more like, grumped Duck, said Turtle. Now the gray cloud was Huge. Cheer up, duck, said goat, who was busy eating the washing on the line. I've got no one to play with, said duck. Share a snack with me, said the goat. Here's a tasty t-shirt. Ducks don't eat clothes, grumped duck, and neither should goats. You'll get a stomach ache. Oh, will I, grumbled goat. Now the great gray cloud was ginormous. It was a great gray blob hanging low overhead. So now all the animals were grumpy. Then something strange began to happen. The great gray cloud turned blue and purple and yellow until it was black. What do you think is going to happen? Sitting beneath this ginormous black cloud were a dog who had stopped wagging his tail, a pig whose ears were drumpy or droopy, a rooster who was no longer cockadoodling, a rabbit who had lost his hop, a tortoise who had decided to stay in his shell forever and ever, and a goat who scowled at the big black cloud, and a duck who was still grumpy. Do you think the duck being in a grumpy mood affected all of the other animals and made them grumpy too? What sort of cloud was it? Was it a gloom cloud or a mood cloud? Could it be? Was it a grumpy duck cloud? Would it blot out the sun forever? Could it burst? Yes! Suddenly there were splat. Millions of big, shiny, wet, splashy raindrops. Duck spread her wings wide open. She splished and splashed and splashed. Duck wasn't grumpy anymore. I'm waddling in the rain. Quack, quack, she sang. One by one, they all joined in. I'm plopping in the rain. I'm barking in the rain. Woof, woof. 
I'm cock a doodle doing in the rain. I'm hopping so high. Hop, hop. I'm drinking up the rain. <laughs> what a glorious feeling, pleaded Goat. We're happy again, just waddling and paddling by the pond. They all sang in chorus. And where was the big black cloud? Gone. And in its place was a bright, shining rainbow. The end. All right, boys and girls, you'll find our activity that goes along with the story. And it's going to be in the Thursday Remote Students Schoology folder. I hope you enjoyed our story today. I will see you again soon.